Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. Gladstone quarterback Nate Young has been around the Braves football program his entire life. But now as a senior, the signal caller wants nothing more than to end his time with the team as a state champion. We caught up with the All-UP Dream Teamer for this week's Player Spotlight. Early on in the 2023-24 football season, the Gladstone Braves are proving once again to be in the conversation for a state title contender. The Braves are currently sitting at 2-0 with convincing wins over Marquette and reigning Division VI runner-up Nagani. Yeah, it's been kind of a, a weird start, you know, senior year. It, it doesn't feel real at first, I guess, but um, it's, been a, it's been a great year so far, definitely. we got a good, good group of guys, and... Uh, it's going, it's going really well. Reigning All-UP Dream Team quarterback Nate Young has been as advertised. Entering his third year under center for the Braves, Young has taken his game to another level, says Gladstone head coach Craig Ness. Very versatile, um, just a good athlete, and you know, it's you got to go back to the summer. Uh, I drive by, I see his car here, he's working out. And his mental ability for football is even better than his athletic ability, and he watches film and he doesn't just watch it to watch it, he understands what he needs to see and he grows from there, he picks his game up. That preparation and attention to detail has paid off for Young and has helped the Braves offense evolve during his time on the varsity level. I was, uh, I was working a lot on uh, just gaining strength overall, but um, working on my reads, you know, going over my, uh, my form with passing and everything. And, um, I think I've gotten a lot better as a defensive player too over the years. It's uh, it's been really like second nature to me now this year. So, well, we're able to put reads in. So if he sees a certain read, he's he's got full momentum to or full uh, uh, ability to change the play. And actually, the uh, the touchdown pass to Casey was actually an audible at the line of scrimmage. Uh, he saw what he he thought was man-to-man uh, -man coverage and. He took advantage and uh, we were able to hit a big one. On the field, Young has shown a unique gift for playmaking while making everyone around him better. Not only is he making plays, but he's, uh, you know, Mark, he, he spreads the ball around. There's times when he can just keep it, honestly, and, and he doesn't. Uh, so he's not only making plays, but he's keeping the team involved and he's motivating the team to get better. It's not a rah-rah thing. It's just that uh, they see what he's doing. They see the effort level. And, uh, you know, honestly, they, they try to pick their level up to match his. So it's a good thing to have. I like to lead by example because uh, that just it really helps everyone. You know, you make good play, you encourage your teammates, then everyone starts making good plays and just it just keeps going from there. So I like to make big plays. You know, I like to put on a show for the fans. You know, I like to razzle-dazzle sometimes. But, uh, yeah, we're just ultimately we're just trying to win football games. But if we can uh, look good doing it, then that's uh, good for everybody. While the senior signal caller prefers to show you rather than and tell you he doesn't lack confidence in his abilities. Is there anything that you can't do on a football field? No. <laughs> well, there might be one thing that Young could work on according to his head coach. Uh, kick a ball. So hopefully would would he know. argue that he could do that though if he needed to? Uh, you know, we he's he loves long snapping. I hate to say that. Our quarterbacks are a long snapper, but uh, he, he will not punt the ball, and uh, he did not step up and try kicking. So Young has not only earned the respect from his teammates and coaches, but also his opponents as well. <laughs> Glad Nate Young's a senior. We've been seeing him for several years. I think the last three years, uh, we played Gladstone six times, once in the regular season and once in the postseason. Um, yeah, it seems like it seems like Nate's been there forever. It makes me feel really good. You know, they got a really good program there. That they've gotten the best of us. They, I, I always say that he's the one coach who knows how to defend me. So he's just an awesome coach, awesome guy, and I, I really appreciate that. While Young's football resume at Gladstone is impressive, he says there's one thing that keeps his competitive fire burning bright. Yeah, our ultimate goal, you know, is Ford Field, and that's what that's what we're trying to do. And trying to get over that hump. You know, we won our, our district title last year, which is amazing, first time in I don't even know how many years, but uh, just trying to take it to that next level now. It's just football has always been a huge thing in my, my family. My dad was a, a coach when I was really young, and I was in that locker room drawing pictures for the guys so that they would hang them up in their lockers. So I was always just been around Gladstone football, and I, I just fell in love with the game. Young and the rest of the Braves will be in action this Friday night at Kingsford. Yeah, Kingsford's really good. You know, they got a great program. And uh, just we just gotta work, keep working, and we know we know it's gonna be a four quarter battle, so we're we're prepared to to grind it out. Kingsford's very good. They're big, you know. They always got that size coming in. 
Um, their quarterback throws very well. Their defense flies to the ball. And, you know, honestly, it's like looking at a mirror image of us. So we're looking for a good game. You know, if we, if we come in and play our game, you know, I, I like how we are and I like our chances, but definitely a very good Kingsford team.